Brian Beeler's rounding them up. It's gonna be September 7th. For sale, 1983 through 1987, Buick Grand National. I did put a 40K and under limit on this search. And this search comes from a couple subscribers, more than one. So we're finally on it, doing that request that these guys have subs subscribed and requested. And if that's something you're liking the sounds of, well, it's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel, drop in the comments below the make and model vehicle you're looking for. And we'll see what we can find out there for sale. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for subscribing. Let's get started. It's going to be on two platforms. It's going to be Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. I've put them in price order from lowest to highest. And then my pick of the day that you're seeing on the banner right there. Or the thumbnail, however you like to call it. So none of them belong to me. I don't set the prices on these cars. I did set a limit to $40,000 and under. And I think it was just one gentleman's ad that made me eliminate all those cars that were over 40000 Because you see, we got quite a few fines here in the top. That's how many cars we found for forty k and under. But the gentleman made a comment that he was firm on the price. And he was asking like 45000 That He was firm on the price and the cars were double that. So anybody that has that kind of thought or delusion that their car is worth over $40,000, let alone double that, and I did find some of these that some people are wanting eighty thousand dollars for, but I'm not going to show them because you're going to see in this episode for forty thousand and under, we can find quite a few. I mean, you could buy four of them for what some people are wanting for one. So, again, this channel started off trying to find cars for good deals. So the first one's going to be the lowest price car, and again, they're not mine. I don't set the prices. I get no commission off any sales, nor do I charge anybody any finders fees. A thumbs up. If you dig that we're looking for cars for sale for subscribers that make requests, then hit the big thumbs up. That's how you pay back the channel. This first one's going to start us off as an 87 Buick Regal WE4 Turbo T. That's how he's got it listed. It's in California, posted 12 weeks ago. And you see it, six grand. For six grand T top car, I don't think you can get over there fast enough to buy this car off this guy. That's my opinion. But he's got more than one for sale. He's also going to have another one here for fourteen thousand. So you could go to his place and buy two of them for twenty thousand. Are they projects? They are. And that's how I always recommend buying a car, man. Going and buying a turnkey car, you don't know what you're buying. You don't know how many times they've ripped the engine apart. You build it yourself. You know what you got. So on to another one. We're up to ten grand already. So second car in, we're at ten grand. Eighty-four Buick Regal Grand National, ten grand four weeks ago, Indiana. And again, I don't think you can get there fast enough to buy it. Look how bad this thing's rotted out. I mean, it's a piece of shit. You're going to need a Regal to build this thing. That's how I'd recommend just rebodying it. I mean, who the hell wants to put all the floors in there? Someone's digging the thumbnail I got on the last search, which this is two Buick searches tonight. And tomorrow we're going to bring a lot of Pontiac searches. So we're going to try to knock out this request list I got. It's got over a dozen requests on there. And we've been off for a couple days with some local stuff I've had going on and being busy. But we're going to catch up on all y'all's requests. Appreciate the requests. I appreciate the support for the channel. Again, I think this thing's a piece of shit. So, 10 grand. I don't, uh, did it have an engine? I think it said it didn't have an engine in this. Floor pans are routed out. Yep, 10 grand he wants for that. On to another one. And this is the same gentleman as the first car for six thousand. Well, it's forty-five, fourteen five for this one. It's an eighty-seven Regal Turbo T Grand National, California, eleven weeks. This car don't look bad at all. So, again, I'd probably go check this guy out. They have the wrong wheels on it. I'm not sure about the color it's painted, but that's me. If you're looking for a Regal, man. Those two right there wouldn't be bad for starting a project to build one. I would think that's me. Did have slotted rotors on the front. I didn't like the rims at all. So you got some kind of shit stuck on the floor so you can't see how bad the floors are rotted. But again, if you're in the California area, I'd go check out those cars if you're looking for a Grand National. On to another one. This is going to be a 1986 Buick Grand National. And again, if you're new to the channel, that's what you punch in. 1986 Buick Grand National, 15,000 Alabama. 19 weeks ago. It's probably the best one we've seen yet. So 
So if you want to read them out, just look them up. This one says interior needs work. Other than that, runs good. 3.8 turbo V6. So I don't know how you can beat that. Again, 15 for that car. Now, I tell you what, and for 45,000 means I could put another 30,000 into this car. And there is no way that these other guys that are asking over 45,000 that this car wouldn't be nicer than it. You'd know what you got. So that's how I look at it. On to the first Craigslist ad. This one's going to be in South Florida. And I've seen a lot of these cars in Florida. So if you're in the Florida area looking for a Grand National, you're in the right spot. This is a Buick Grand National All Original 15.5. So again, 15.5. So you can buy both these first these two cars right here for 15 and 15.5 for 30,500. You can have two of them. So you tell me, how do you pay 30,000 for one? But that's me. I kind of dig the wheels. And he's got a nice description on it. it does say clean title. Posted 11 days ago. He's not updated to add on to another one. It's going to be an 87 Buick T-Type Grand National here for 18000 It's going to be in Missouri. Posted a week ago. It's a silver one, so I dig that. I do like stuff that's different. I don't know about those rims being painted all black, but this thing looks nice. Yep, you've seen it. 18000 Clean title. Turbo V6. Lots of extras. Rebuilt trans with stall. Flowmaster exhaust. Burgundy bucket interior clean title located in kansas missouri so there you go i don't know how we can justify any more that are over twenty thousand because this car looks great so kansas area looking for a grand national boom there's a nice looking 87 on to another one it's gonna be an 85 be a grand national here for nineteen thousand. back on facebook marketplace and this is going to be in pennsylvania got some big wheels on it they don't look bad on there either. So again, pretty nice looking car for nineteen thousand. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how the guys. Some of these guys are just delusional on wanting fifty, sixty, eighty thousand for these. Clean PA title on this one in the PA area. Looking for a Buick Grand National? Check him out. Post eleven weeks ago. On to another one. It's going to be an 87 Buick Regal here. 20,000. So he's got it listed. Listed 10 weeks ago. California. Does say 87. Buick Regal Grand National Turbo. Runs and drives great. 56,000 original miles. So it does look like it needs paint. Looks like half of it was flat black on the one side there maybe. Some real crappy photos. But I don't know how you can't go buy this one. So 20,000 is in your price range. California car check him out how's he not sold that in 10 weeks these cars are bringing over fifty thousand dollars how has he not got 20 for that one i don't know on to another only fifty six thousand original miles on to another one it's gonna be an 86 buick regal nah, it's not even, it doesn't even say buick regal it's 86 buick grand national that's how you punch it in north carolina twenty thousand again and, and again a nice looking buick regal so there you go. The last two cars we've just looked at for forty thousand. You could have two nice drivers. So I don't like I said. I, I couldn't. I couldn't include cars over forty grand. It just. It's it's absolutely absurd. On to another one. San Francisco Bay Area. Eighty five Buick Grand National turbocharged. Twenty thousand five hundred bucks. Posted a week ago. It's another nice car. Look like the bucket seats might need to be recovered. They got some real cheesy seat covers over them. But other than that, I don't really care for wheels, and it's bad photos, but $20,500. Only been on here for a week. San Francisco Bay Area, check it out. On to another one. All right, 87 Buick Grand National here for $23,500. Listed six days ago, so under a week, Indiana. You see it, right? $23,500. This thing looks like it's got really nice paint on it. It actually looks like it was pro-streeted, so it is. This is a drag car. So you're looking for a Pro Street Drag Car Grand National for $23.5? What a steal. Digging that one. It's got a nice little printout here on it if you want to read it up. It's $23.5 or best offer. Make it consider trades. So if you're in the uh, Indiana area looking for a Grand National Drag Car, boom, there you go. Just found you one. On to another one. 
It's going to be an 87 Buick Grand National here for 24.5. Listed two weeks ago, South Carolina. And this car is looking beautiful. So again, I, I got to tell you, all these cars we've looked at so far are worth going and looking at. For what guys are wanting for some of these, this car looks great. And like I always say, I like to build it myself and paint it myself so I know what kind of bondo and patches and repairs and stuff that's gone into the car. But you got 25 to spend. Let's go buy you a turnkey driver right there. On to another. I'm not sure how we justify. I guess you have to read out the details and see what people have done to them. But there's the details on this one. And for 24.5, what a steal. On to another one. This is going to be back on the Craigslist. It's going to be Rochester, New York. It's going to be 86 Buick Regal Grand National, 25,000. Listed 25 days ago. It did update the ad 22 days ago. And again, it looks like a really beautiful car. So, if you're looking to spend under 30,000, I think you can buy a really nice one, turnkey. On to another one. This one here looks great. I dig the wheels. I do love the original Grand National wheels, but those wheels look good on this, man. 1987 Buick Grand National, 25,000, two weeks ago, Florida. That's probably the one I would go check out in Florida. If I was in Florida with 25,000 to spend on one of these, man, that car looks great. So again, you have to read him out, see what kind of repairs have been done to it, what kind of upgrades they've done. That's good, 25, which means that's probably negotiable. On to another one. It's going to be a 1985 Buick Grand National here for 25.5, listed 24 weeks ago. So it's been on here for a long time. He hasn't been able to sell it for 25.5, and it's still sitting in his garage. Tell me. They're worth 80000 and you can buy one like this and sell for 80000 and why has he not sold it? On to another one. It's going to be an 87 Buick Regal Grand National. It's going to be 25.5. I'm not sure we've seen a T-top one yet. So T-tops do run more money, I do believe. I myself would like to have a T-top. I was going to have one. This is listed three weeks ago. And it's in New York for 25.5. It's got the cool rims on it. It's got some nice paint. Looks like you go for a buff job. See a lot of blemishes in the paint where it's shining anyway. Black's a hard car to look, make it look straight, man. If you're going to paint your car black, you really got to have it straight before you go throwing paint and clear on there. But I'm digging it. See, it's got some good shine. It's got her taking a good close-up picture. It's a nice car. 25.5, New York. On to another one. We're going to be in Florida again. 1985, Buick Grand National, 26999 So we're almost at 27000 And those are the rims I really dig. And this is a T-top, so after this car right here, I don't see how you can justify paying any more for one. This thing looks absolutely stunning for $26,999. i am loving it. So that should have probably been the pick of the day. If money's not an option, you want a turnkey. On to another one. We're at San Francisco Bay Area now with an 86. Be a Grand National. It's going to be on Craigslist. It's the second owner, it says. Posted 20 days ago for 28000 Yep, 28000 are asking for this one. And again, it looks pristine mint. So, did have some kind of carpet over the dash. I hate that. Cut, man, it fixed the dash. How are you going to carpet your dash? Unless it's just to save the sun from beating it up. San Francisco Bay Area, it could be. I mean, it would be bad if you pulled that off there and it's all cracked up. But beautiful inside otherwise nice car so again if money is not an option you got 28,000 to spend on one I'm not sure it's going to be as nice as the one with 56,000 this one's got saying 84,000 miles on it on to another one it's going to be 84 Buick Regal Grand Sport Coupe two door 28,000 two weeks ago Oklahoma and again a stunning looking car nice looking wheels beautiful interior yeah I don't I don't see how you can go any higher on the prices especially over 40,000 especially the ones we've already seen for under 30 so that's my opinion you know and if you're looking to spend 50 60,000 on a car I just don't think you're tuning in to round them up on to another one 
This car here is stunning too. Love the wheels. The paint looks beautiful. It's an 87 Buick Grand National. 28,000, four weeks ago in North Carolina. And this car's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, again, I don't think they're worth what people that own them think they're worth, unfortunately enough. Kind of like a lot of classic cars we see on rounding them up. They're just ridiculous prices where I don't get it, you know. People like to show off what they got, maybe, and tell everybody that my car is worth $80,000. On to another one. It's a 1986 Regal here. Grand National, 29000 for this one. Man, that picture looks good right there. Showing you down the side of it that it's straight. I kind of like the wheels. I like the stance. It's a beautiful car, man. For 29000 So it definitely gotten up into some big money already. I think 29000 is a lot to pay for one. But if it's what you want, it's a turnkey and you don't have to work on it. And go check him out. He's in Washington. It's been on here for 10 weeks. On to another one. It's going to be another 87 Buick Grand National. 29,000 in Florida. Posted two weeks ago. I mean, is it just me? Or, I mean, are these cars looking absolutely meant and beautiful? So, I don't know how it is. Again, you can justify what people want. This is a T-top car. So, another T-top car. 29,000 Florida check it out florida's the area you're at that was like a really nice car right there on to another one it's going to be in orlando so florida again 1987 buick grand national 29.5 for this one and again this car looks great so we have seen a lot of beautiful cars right here and again we're still under 30,000. So if this is what you're looking for and Florida's the area you're in, there's a lot to choose from. On to another one. It's going to be an 86 Buick Regal here. Grand Sport Coupe 29.5. Listed a week ago, Franklin, Ohio. So we even got an Ohio car on here for just under 30. It's an 86. Thing looked really solid on the bottom side for being in Ohio. Love that picture right there. So definitely showing you some nice shots of it. it. Didn't have any plates on it. But it looked like it was sitting somewhere where they might have just pulled the plate. So the plate wasn't on in the pictures. On to another one. I guess that's smarter than sticking your thumb over it. 1986 Grand National here. Buick Grand National. 30,000. So we finally made it to 30,000. This is 13 weeks ago. Orlando, Florida again. I'm not sure I like the scoops in the hood. Or the louvers in the fender. It's tore apart. I mean, it's, I don't see the money. After what we've just seen, I don't see why you'd go look at that one. On to another one. It's an 86 Buick Grand National Turbo Charge here for 32000 Eight weeks ago, PA. And I know I went through that last one quick, but we've seen a bunch in Florida. And that's where that car was. So this is in PA. It does make a difference if you're in PA than from just going all the way to Florida to get one. So that's a nice looking car. Probably not as nice as some of the other ones we've already seen for less, but again, that one's in PA. On to another one. It's going to be an 86 Buick Regal here for $34,000. 5 weeks ago, Oklahoma. So again, if you're in Oklahoma, not Florida, four grand less, I guess it'd be just better to go check this out. I got some nice work done on this thing. Some really great photos to show you what he's got. That's that limited edition roof right there too. So 86 low production Buick Grand National Astro roof. 275 of these were made. So it's almost justifying where he's going with the price because he is at 34000 But real limited roof on this one. I don't know about the blue stripe on the hood. But on to another one. We're now at 35000 It's going to be 87 Buick Regal. It's going to be in Chicago, Illinois posted a week ago. Like it got caught in the rain in the photos. And that'd be the best time to take your pictures because that clear is going to be looking a lot better than what it actually is. Obviously, a car shines better when it's wet. So it does look absolutely beautiful in those pictures, but mind you, it's wet. 82,000 original miles on it. Needs minor details. 
these coilovers all around it says on to another one 87 Buick Regal Limited Coupe two door 35,000 nine weeks ago California this car looks pretty stunning too really nice interior looks really good under the hood I'll show you a little bit of paint fading some chipping in the plastic parts right there which is real common and it's got that limited edition roof too so clean title on this one second owner California car question mark price firm no trades and you're seeing it right 35,000 for that one on to another one and again it's gonna be 35,000 it's an 87 Buick Grand National posted four days ago in New York I do not like the rims so for 35,000 he'd have to change the wheels if I was going to be buying it it does look like it was a t-top car lots of upgrades larger turbo injectors fuel pump check him out that's something you're looking for in that area which was New York I'm not sure if it was a t-top or not he didn't mention it on to another one this is going to be 87 Buick Grand National GN. That's how he's got it typed up. It's in Florida. 35000 posted four weeks ago. You see it. It's a Pro Street drag car for 35000 Got a Chevy cow induction hood. I would say I don't like it, but the fact is it's got a big block Chevy in it. So it's got a 460, 496 big block Chevy, 1,000 horsepower. So, yeah. Tell me that ain't badass. Other than, I don't know, I probably would have preferred it on a, a Chevy Monte Carlo instead of a Buick Grand National clone. I don't know if it's a clone or not. It says 87, Buick Grand National Pro Street. If it adds up, it's still available. you got to dig that. Knows how to run an ad. Good photos. Badass big block car. Just not sure I would put that big block drivetrain into a Grand National. On to another one. It's going to be an 86 Grand Ant Buick Grand National here for 36000 listed three weeks ago in North Carolina. I am going fairly quick, trying to get through all the cars. I try to keep each episode to a half hour. But if there's something you see that you like, just look it up on your phone, your computer. Just go to North Carolina on Facebook Marketplace. Punch in 86 Buick Grand National. It'll pop up. It's been on here for three weeks. It's wanting 36000 See, it's got a nice hole in the back seat about the size of a quarter couple holes and patches in the front seat this seems to be minor but again you know he's asking 36,000 for this car on to another one gonna be an 87 Buick Grand Sport Coupe two-door it's how he's got it punched up and it's gonna be in Utah so we even found one in Utah 17 weeks ago been on here for a while and it is a nice one again it's got some kind of moonroof on it so for being limited 236 of them or 270 of them we've seen three of them then again someone could have put that moonroof in it you never know what's been done to it it is an 87 so so what you're looking for utah area check him out onto another one it's gonna be an 84 buick regal grand national for 38,000 here listed two weeks ago in new york and it is a t-top car he's got the t-tops out in that picture they're back in in that picture car looks absolutely beautiful some really great photos it's a nice car 38,000 I don't know I think we've seen some a little bit ago for like 10,000 less but that's me I myself wouldn't want to spend 40,000 on want any car let alone a Buick Grand National 1986 Buick Regal limited coupe two-door 39,988 so we're almost at our limit Listed uh, six days ago, Brookfield, Illinois. Does have the cool wheels on it. Looks like it's at a dealership. So that can explain some of your overpriced inflation on the car. It's at a dealership. But it was a T-top. Had some cool gauges mounted on the roof. Inside, that was kind of cool. Kind of dig those. Right in your face. Hopefully one's a tack, right? One's a boost gauge. On to another one. We're now at our limit, so forty thousand is where I cut these cars off. And trust me, they went as high as eighty thousand. Probably we could have from forty to eighty thousand. We could have found double what we just looked through. That's how many people are asking fifty-five, sixty, seventy-five, eighty thousand for these. 
So, 80,000, you could buy two of these ones right here at the end. 1987 Butte Grand National, 40,000, 18 weeks ago, Indiana. I don't like the grill. So, I don't know what's up with the grill. It didn't look right. Looks like an Oldsmobile grill. I don't know. It is a T-top car. He's wanting 40,000 for it. I want to read out the details. 65,000 original miles. Still didn't outdo that one we seen for 56,000 earlier, right? So, 40,000. Indiana. That's your area. On to another one. This one's going to be in Michigan. We've been finding a lot of nice cars up in Michigan. It's going to be an 86 Buick Regal Grand Sport Coupe. 40,000 three weeks ago. T-top car again. So you see all these ones were tapping out at 40,000 are all T-top. And it's nice. No doubt about it. Nice car. I think it's 40,000. Absolutely not. But that's me. If you're in the Michigan area looking to spend 40,000 on the Grand National. Boom. We found you one. On to another one. It's going to be a 1985 Buick Regal. Grand National. Turbo Grand National. That's how he's got it printed out. 40,000 Texas. So, I don't know, Texas, you probably don't even get a title with it. Got some kind of LED headlights in it I don't like. You can see mad scratches in the paint. Don't really like the wheels. Those are just some kind of cheap-ass wheel from Summit Racing or something. That's what it looked like. So, I don't know. I definitely don't see the money there compared to some of the other ones we've already seen. So, on to the last one for 40000 This one right here, 87 Buick Grand National, 40000 less than two weeks ago in Maine. And I, even if you're getting that car with this car, I don't see $40,000. I just don't. I mean, you got to put the thing back together. I've said this numerous times about people wanting to try to get top dollar for their cars and it's scattered all over in their garage. Well, just because you lost interest in it, man, you got to get out there and put that thing back together if you're really trying to get some money out of this. I don't even see somebody giving you 20 for this car after some of the ones we've seen. And I don't care how many piles of parts come with it. And it looks like a lot of piles of parts come with it. But that's where you're looking for something. Check him out. On to my pick of the day. It's going to be the one you see on the banner. It's going to be this one right here. 1983. So I think that's the first year. It might have been 82. If so, we didn't find any 82s. But 83 Buick Regal T-Type Turbo. First Grand National. Seven grand four weeks ago in North Carolina. Not going to be able to get there fast enough to grab this car. It's a T-Top. Still got the engine in it. Still got the trans in it. I'm digging it for seven thousand. I mean, the Krager's got to go, but you can always throw those Krager's on something else and make something else look good. So this is my pick of the day: clean title, Regal T-Type, first Grand National, turbo car, high performance suspension, very rare car, 3.8 turbo. That's all you get for description. Clean title. Again, North Carolina gets the pick of the day. So that's the search. And that's my pick right there for seven grand, man. Imagine how nice you could make that car, putting another 20000 in it. Holy shit, it's going to be nicer than any of the ones I've seen on the episode, probably. So that's my opinion. And you're all welcome to your opinion. If you dig what we're doing, finding cars for subscribers, be sure to hit the thumbs up, man. Leave a comment. Leave a request. And be sure to subscribe. Ring that little bell when it comes up on there. Click on that bell. You'll stay notified for every search. We're about to knock out a bunch of Pontiacs tomorrow. Peace out.